Good afternoon. I'm popping on here to talk about something pretty heavy that has been in our awareness for some time. And there's now an active investigation happening to look into these serious situations. So a lot of you know that I'm a Kundalini yoga teacher and some of you may know that Yogi Bhajan is the person who brought this style of teaching to, um, to North America. And there have been a lot of stories about abuse that he inflicted on others. And so I want to talk a little bit about this whole idea of being human, being a teacher, being a guru, for lack of a better word. And since the end of, was it end of 2018, the new, the Me Too movement, please excuse my uh, memory fault there. But we started to hear a lot of people coming forward with their stories of specifically sexual abuse and unfair treatment toward women. And we're seeing a huge rise in awareness and in facing the darkness of the truth of humanity being real. And because there's a spiritual teacher or an artist or someone that has become popular because of their abilities, maybe sports related uh, professionals, we seem to glorify these people and then there's this shock and amazement when they do things that are human, like hurt other people or allow that power to corrupt their behavior. And of course, trauma is something that we all experience and yet One of the things I'm really struggling with, and I'm sure people have a lot of opinions on this, is what happens to the merit of what that person shared when they do something horrific, disgusting, or whatever other word you would place in there that you can't reconcile? Why does that negate all of the beautiful gifts that they shared? So I have a few examples, like my childhood memories of Michael Jackson and Bill Cosby are deeply ingrained and so much joy and humor was shared through their creative capacity to be artistic. And yeah, many, many, many years later, we heard about some things that Made it hard to love those people, maybe. But does that change the fact that they are still talented artists? So my heart is really struggling to say that I will stop practicing Kundalini Yoga because of something that the teacher who brought this wisdom to our communities here in North America did some horrific things because the technology is highly effective and it has helped me in my life in so many ways. I hope that instead of closing the door on all of these amazing things like music and art and movies and television shows and any of these things that help us find humor in times of stress or whatever can help us learn how to do it differently, but also still embrace the humanity and the gifts that are birthed through us into this world that have helped other people. Is it possible 
to love the teachings without loving the teacher? I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. It was super hard to put words to my feelings about this situation. Thanks for listening.